is Black Hills Fox Sports. Welcome back. New changes continue to come to the Arena Football League in the Marshall seemingly every day now. The team took a shot in their side in more than one way following last weekend's forfeited game against Billings. Players set out because they had only been paid $250 out of the $1,000 per game promised in their contract. In the days since, a multitude of announcements have come from the league and from the Marshalls. Most notably on Friday, half of the Rock Rapid City's roster left the team because they were told their wages wouldn't exceed $250 a game moving forward. On Monday before any of this happened, I sat down with now former players Tim Lucas and Brian Villanueva to hear their side of the story and to learn what made them go about last weekend's game against Billings the way they did. We'll do anything to play this game and we'll believe anyone that tells us, you know, really good things. So the more that we started seeing the cracks in the walls and, and some of the things that seems like they were getting ignored by a lot of people, the more it became apparent that we had to act on it. Marshall's players started brainstorming how they wanted to send a message several days before last Saturday's game. While it remains unclear what exactly those conversations looked like between players and private, it's known that the timing of their actions were deliberate. Things were getting dragged out previous weeks, and we wanted to make sure that you know decisions were made you know, quicker, and that was part of the strategy. If it was truly about um, making sure that we were taking care of the players, then I, I felt like there would have been a game played, honestly. Players wholeheartedly believe that team ownership would meet their requests and pay them in full before kickoff against the Outlaws. That did not happen. The Marshals wanted to make a statement loud and clear, and the end result was felt by their peers across the league. A lot of the guys were proud that we stepped up and that we, you know, stuck together as a team to, to write a message to the entire league. You know, had we not done it in that way, I don't think it wouldn't have been felt as strong. Although players thought that not playing was the right move, ownership believed otherwise. Forfeiting the game against Billings put the franchise in a, quote, really uncomfortable financial position, according to Marshall's co-owner Wes Johnson. Wes. Uh, usually tells us how much time he spends with this organization and, and knowing that there's not a lot of personnel or resources in the building. I know that they both are working extremely hard on it. Looking back on all of this, Lucas is happy he came to South Dakota. Just thinks that if he would have done some more research, some of these issues wouldn't have come as a surprise. I wish I would have dug a little bit further into some of the people who are at the very top uh, running the AFL, um, just for my own peace of mind. Um, but. As far as having regrets, I don't have any regrets. Since these interviews, as we reported on Tuesday, league owners unanimously voted to appoint Jeff Fisher to interim commissioner. Fisher is a former NFL head coach and serves as the president of operations for the Nashville Cats. This move pushes out former league commissioner Lee Hutton. Next weekend, right here on KEVN, we'll hear from Chris Chetty with G6 Sports, the ownership group that acquired the league's licensing and the latest from Marshall's Coner, Wes Johnson. Before we go, Post 22 looking for the series win this morning versus Cheyenne Post 6 in the first inning, first two innings, third baseman Aiden Roberts led the hard hats on defense. Top of the first, Roberts initiates the 5-4-3 double play. And in the second, he makes a heads up play at third with two outs, a diving stop in the line, not enough time to throw to first. Instead, dives and beats the runner to get out of the inning. However, Cheyenne post six gets the win, 5-3 the final. And former South Dakota Mines quarterback Jaden Johansson committed to Murray State football on Saturday. Johansson entered the transfer portal right after the Hard Rockers spring game this year, following four seasons in Rapid City. Last season, he completed 65% of his passes and threw for over 2,500 yards in the season. He is also a two-time all-conference second team honoree. Well, Andrew, kind of talking a little bit about that, that's kind of a, that, that's kind of crazy. I mean, how does a team come back from that, especially losing like a key player in your team? Yeah, Johansson, as I said, a two-time RMAC All-Conference honoree, 65% of his passes, over 2,500 yards left. As you just said, he's a major factor, has been in Rapid City the last four years. So he graduated with a degree from South Dakota Mines, entered the portal. I assume just wanted something different. You know, you go to an, um, an all-academic school, you get a degree in engineering, and then want to do something else. So um, the great thing about this is it opens the door for upcoming players. They have several quarterbacks who are experienced and will have a great quarterback positional battle this summer and fall, but it gives them a chance to play um, because they haven't been able to play the last three years with Johansson and at quarterback. All right, well, thank you.